Hello everyone and welcome to Airhead Weapons. It came to my attention that I forgot to do a follow-up video on this. Um, 5EUK has actually done a video on this since because um, he saw mine and then realised it had been ages since I uploaded anything so he did his own video so I suggest go check him out and subscribe to him. But yeah, I'm doing my own video today. And it's just a setup. I will say that this is loud. It has no off button on the actual box itself. So when it's plugged into the wall and that's on, it's always on. I think it would be nice to have a shut off on here. Um, and you can hear a whirring as it is just standing here. Anyway, onto the usage of this thing. So it comes, that's a fill port, obviously it doesn't come with a fill port, but it comes with this here, which is a moisture filter. So that takes out any moisture that comes out from the compressor. Obviously your filling um, tube quick release on this which connects to here like so you then have this gauge here which you can set at so I set it at 4000 psi just for the sake of it which is about 300 bar and I'll be filling my egg gun less you two up with that and that can go up to 350 bar in the reservoir I think I'll put it down a bit actually because I know I'm gonna be wrong and someone's gonna point it out so I'll just put it down but this automatically cuts off when it gets to that point there, which I think is pretty cool. Now, to use this, you're gonna to have to open the bleed valve to make sure it's fully bled and then close it. Just finger tight, but fairly tight. Then you're gonna attach the fill probe to your gun, which is my Leshy 2 right there. Nice and simple. And I'm just pumping this up, or filling it, I should say. So I can test this out straight out of the box because apparently it comes sub five foot pounds. So I'm gonna test that for you on camera in the next video or a video coming up. I haven't shot this yet. I haven't even sighted it in. That offset is just there for fun. It's, it's never gonna be used. It doesn't even have a battery in. Once you've got your gun all plugged in, you wanna start the fan. This is where it gets loud, and you're going to let the fan run for a couple of seconds. Sorry about the shiny surface, you can see me there. And then you're going to switch on your compressor. You see how much it shakes? <laughs> so I thought I'd leave this section in just so you can watch it rise from about 210 bar all the way to 250. It doesn't take very long at all. I actually ended up taking this all the way to 300 bar and in total it took me about one and a half to two minutes. It actually got quicker from 250 to 300. It was pretty much half the time which I found odd but it, it just did. It worked. And again I'm just leaving this whole section in so you can actually see physically what well how fast it is i've time stamped it at the beginning so if you want to skip past it by all means and i have actually turned down the volume to about 10 percent of its original from that j -j 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 noise because it is loud just a quick note to say the less you two's uh, standard reservoir is actually quite small i think it's only 350 cc's and that's probably why it filled up so quickly Then I'm just going to shut the fan off. Bleed the system by opening the bleed valve. And then you can just simply pull out your fill probe. And that is it done. So I've been using this for about eight months now. Once every two weeks or so, I don't shoot very often. And I mainly use it for my Airsoft HPA stuff so i've had no issues with it i did there was one time where it took like 30 seconds for the compressor to actually kick in and start pumping and i thought it had broken but that happens probably in the first week of me getting it out of the box and i just put that down to teething problems other than that it's work, been working perfectly fine lots of people in the comments are saying theirs have broken down i say loads it's about two or three but i've had no issues with it whatsoever and it's been fantastic and so much cheaper than everything out there at the time. I'm not quite sure now because I haven't had a look. I haven't needed to look because of this. But this has been brilliant for my use or my needs, I should say. So, yeah, 
Thank you very much for watching. Next Leshy video will be coming out sometime this week where I do test that and then tweak it to get it to sub 12. And yeah, looking forward to that. Haven't put any rounds through that yet. As I said earlier, I'm really excited about it. So take care, guys. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe because I've got a lot of content coming up. Thank you very much, guys.